asked, uh, what have you talked to Eric about uh, this week after their turn? And, and Decision making, yeah. uh, you know, so critical when our defense stops them, especially a team like Miami. Our job as the punt return team is to give the ball now to the offense, to transition it to the offense. And special teams takeaways are so costly where they happen on the field. You know, it's not happening at midfield. It's not happening in the plus area. It's happening, you know, towards our goal line. So we just got to make a better decision. We've got to stay away from the ball and give the ball back to our offense. Well, you really was turn, the how pull on the arm? Technically, was the pull on the arm illegal? We haven't heard back. And again, we've got to stay away. Were you on the return? How does that process work? Okay, so he's got to run up and yell, Peter, 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 to get the guys that are blocking for him off of the blocks and out of bounds. So if the ball does hit him, it's not turned over. So that's the first thing. And then he's got to make the decision if he can catch it, he can go ahead and fair catch it. We've always got that ability to do that. And then lastly, if it does hit the ground, you know, you stay away from it. There's sometimes when there's no one around you, if it takes a candy hop right into you, and then you could gain additional yards. So those are the different scenarios. I know you're regularly working with a lot of guys. Is options you consider other options too, or just look guys Every week, and that, that, that's really Coach Vrabel's. Yeah. You know, he, he sets the roster, and then we figure where we can use different guys each week for all positions. How's the transition been for you into this role? Fast. <laughs> I mean, it was a whirlwind last week, and then it didn't stop because we got, you know, back late and on a short week. So it's it's been good. The players have been good. So it's working forward. First block field goal you guys have had in, in quite a while. Uh, was that was there something of a low trajectory you saw in film, or is that just something? Danico just I mean that, that whole field goal block team they they give really good effort. They come every time, and it's. It's hard because it is it is so hard to block a field goal. And so he's just great individual effort. But then also the guys help him get him free. So, But he had a blocked PAT earlier against Baltimore, I believe. What's he do? You know, he's got a ton of blocks over the years in terms of pushing. Anything in particular that? He's just got a great get off and great timing of when to get the hand up and when to keep driving the feet. Some guys put their hand up too early. Some guys stop driving their feet. But he's just got a real knack for it. How do you like how Ta handled, I guess, first time out for him here? I thought he did well. Uh, you know, he stayed within himself. He did what we wanted him to do, and so he did his job. So it was a job well done. What was, I guess, the emotions of the night like for you? I guess first time out with this team as the head guy and, and dealing with kind of uh, everything that happened. You know, it's a different transition because yeah. of the decisions that need to be made uh, and the role. Previously, I, I wasn't making those decisions, so that was probably the biggest thing with the emotions. How long have you been practicing high pointing the ball like that to make that kind of catch like you did the other night? I think it was just a, a moment thing. Um, kind of shocked me a little bit. Had to go up and get it, but uh, Will made a good, uh, a great throw. I just had to go up and catch it. When you saw that on the replay, maybe were you a little bit impressed yourself at the, uh, the vertical that you got there? I don't know. I always knew I had, I had ups, but um, you know I just had to get. I had to get a little bit more up on that one to catch it. So, but yeah, it was, I was just glad I was able to make a play. Did Andre compliment you on that? Oh uh, yeah, everybody was just everybody was talking about it. Um, I was kind of surprised how shocked it was, to to be honest. But no, it was um, it was a lot of fun though. I think you wore the I think the Q collar on Monday night. Is it the first time you've worn that? Will you continue to wear it? And maybe how come you felt like uh, maybe incorporating that into your uh, attire? Yeah, yeah, my first time wearing it. Um, Actually, uh, Tra Traylon was worried. I was asking him about it. Um, he said he he thought uh, it helped him out a lot. So you know, I just tried to wear it um, just just in case. You know, I don't want to get put out of the game again. Just showing that I'm doing everything I can, effort wise, to you know prevent you know any any head injuries. So, um, but it, it worked fine. I like it. So I'll probably continue to wear it. Derek, how excited have you been to see Will's development here the last month or so in real time? The way he's seen his play. I don't think we're, we're all excited. Um, see him go out there and take charge, um, make big plays, make big throws, be himself, um, and, and, and take command and go out of there and just execute and, and, and doing the job very well. Has it given you more thought about being here beyond this season, you know, to, to be able to play with him? I haven't gotten that aspect of things. I'm just. Um, and enjoying the season right now, um, enjoying each and every moment, and um, taking it day by day. And um, you know, it's been it's been good to see him grow throughout the season. Derek, you've been around Ty J for about six months or so now. What is it about Ty J, the person that you enjoy the most? 
Um, it's, just, it's, it's a genuine person. Um, you know, cares about his teammates, uh, cares about the team, um, and he comes and works hard and and, and does his job um, the best that he can and to try to be as detailed as possible. And I feel like it's playing off for him. Seems like he's got a little, a little bit of a youthful exuberance to him too. I mean, has he have you ever had a day where you weren't feeling great and he kind of changes your mood, or and is he kind of like that? Yeah, I mean, he's always um, uh, in a joyful mood, um, always happy. Um, you know, have, always has good energy. So you need somebody around like that to pick you up some days for sure. I think it was Elijah yesterday that said that was a very Titans win, very nitty. You guys executed when you needed to, and there was no quit that he saw. Was that something that you agree that's maybe has been missing a little bit more this year of going back to how this team can play? Um, yeah, I mean, I felt like uh, that was a great win for us. Like I said um, on Monday, I mean, we definitely made it harder than what it needed to be. But um, I think it just showed the resiliency and a grit to be able to come back in a critical critical situation and be able to uh, guys be able to make plays and us being able to leave out of there with a W. It seems like we're almost every week we're you're kind of hitting a milestone of one kind or another. A lot of them, um, you know, are, are something like you know number of thousand yard seasons and number of rushing touchdowns. How, how proud of you are kind of the consistency and, and reliability that allows you to to hit those marks over a number of years like that? Yeah, just thankful. Um, um, very blessed. Um, God has blessed me tremendously to, uh, to keep going this, to keep going this long and have the success I had and hopefully it continues. And, um, you know, uh, like I always say, give credit to everybody that was involved, that has been involved, and um, hopefully we can keep it going. People talk about Taja's excitement and Will's excitement. Do veteran guys like yourself get excited having been in the league this long when you see young guys like that getting fired up? Yeah, I mean, it's always great to uh, have young playmakers, and I definitely think they are a great as asset to this team, and they've been doing a great job, and um, it gives us, uh, you know, more fuel to the fire, you know, when we go out there, guys who can um, make big plays, take the top off, and um, give us a great chance to win. There's been a lot of conversation uh, this week just about Will and not being afraid to, to take contact and been very able talking to him about sliding. What do you think about his maybe aggressive running style and do you tell him yourself, hey, watch it uh, so you don't get hurt? Yeah, he's should probably slide a little bit more. Um, but you love the physicality with he, that he plays with, but you just got to be smart out there. Um, and, um, you know, when you're in a position, um, running the ball, knowing when to go down, and, you know, you can be tough every now and then, but slide a little bit more, you know, for him for sure. Derek, you've been a part of a lot of wins here, but uh, how enjoyable was that locker room on the flight home on Monday night? Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, guys were happy. Like I said, in the locker room on Monday, it was a good energy. Good to have that energy back and, you know, guys just um, having fun and being excited. And, um, you know, it was, it was good to have that feeling back as well. Derek, how far do you take in using that red zone weapon? Um, specifically, I feel like in the last several games, you guys have been successful down there, posting a few running the ball. Yeah, I mean, that just uh, goes to execution. You know, we, I've, I've been talking about it um, for a couple of weeks now and glad it's, uh, that we're able to translate it to the games and being successful and um, being able to get the ball in the end zone and um, hopefully this week keep it going. Did you take any uh, Levis chest bumps by any chance uh, in, you know, after one of those two drives near the end of the game? No, nah, I didn't, but I, I saw videos of how he was reacting. I was like, good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Say you ever seen a, a quarterback that fired up and kind of physical in, in terms of celebration? Yeah, his his celebration is a little different, <laughs> but um, but that's just that's just him being him. Can you remember the last time you ever got that fired up? Um, not like that, no. Nah. <laughs> but I get fired up though. Would you be fired up if, if Brable showed up at the game in a cowboy hat on uh, Sunday? Sunday? Uh, Brable showed up with a cowboy hat. That's gonna be funny, but um. You know, it'd be it'll be cool to see to have the old school vibe to it. So yeah, that'd be that that'd be cool. You kind of teased it. You guys gonna hold him to it? He might do it. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think you know he would say something and, and not really consider doing it. He he might. So he might surprise y'all. Did you have you watched the Hard Knocks for the Dolphins this last episode? They talked a lot about you and their preparation. No, I didn't watch it at all. No, I thought it was good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see it. What have you seen from the Texans defense on film? Um, 
I think they're a really good defense. I think they fly around. They're fast, um, physical. Got a good penetrators, penetrators on the D line. Um, uh, they're good in the back end. I think they're a solid uh, overall defense. And you got a Bama boy, D'Amico, uh, got him over there juiced up and fired up. So they've been playing very good. Do you know D'Amico well? I don't really know D'Amico that well, but um, you know, Bama's all over the NFL, so this is how it goes. There's kind of a weird scheduling thing where you play them twice in three weeks, basically. It's, uh, is there any advantage or disadvantage to that when you're playing them that quickly again? Oh, this happened before with uh, other the other division teams. It just the Texans this year. Um, we just want to see each other. Uh, you know, the the schedule is just closer than it didn't usually is. It's usually spread out when we play them, but it's kind of like a two week period. But it is what it is. How's everybody doing? Good. 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 Tim, the way going fast obviously had to go fast at the end of the game the other night, but yeah. with the way the offense and Will seem to be comfortable moving the ball and down the field, is that something maybe to consider trying earlier in the game? Uh, sure. Uh, you know, um, being able to, to, you know, play in varying tempos and doing things along those lines always keeps the defense uh, off balance. And uh, Will's done a good job of being able to kind of execute in those situations, uh, especially Monday night. Um, so, you know, got to do a better job of, of being able to put ourselves in those spots. It's hard to do that when, when you're behind the chains or you can't really get into a drive because of a three and out or whatever it may be. So uh, doing a better job there of, of extending those drives and keeping us in, in better down and distance situations would, would allow us more flexibility to do that. How much can you... I guess, measure the progress of a quarterback by the way he operates in two minutes because a lot is on his shoulders in those situations. Yeah. Um, I mean, the most important thing is that he didn't blink. You know, it was uh, – didn't flinch, um, was able to handle everything that we gave him, um, and, and, you know, just just kind of showed the type of competitor he is. So uh, he, did, he did a really good job. Uh, in, in, in those situations of, um, you know, picking and choosing the time to, to push the ball down the field and uh, understand when, when it's beneficial to be able to kind of take a check down and, and was able to, to see the benefits there, uh, especially getting the ball into a guy like Tajay's hands with space. So uh, he definitely made some improvements there and in, in looking for him to take some more steps here in a couple of days. So you in, the, in the first half, uh, after the block punt, you guys ran three times and, and punted and then got the ball back. And yeah. you, you, you yep. went for the juggler, it seemed like. What changed in, in the time? There's just less time. Um, uh, you know, as we were looking at it, again, kind of to piggyback off what we were talking about earlier, uh, we, we, we wanted to get into that mode, um, you know, uh, before before we had to get the ball back to him. Um, I think we had the run for six, it was second and four, and then I think we got called for a hold. And at that point in time, you don't want to give the that offense – you know, uh, the ball back with, with, you know, an amount of time to be able to go down and score. So, again, un understanding what's best for, for the whole team and what's going to, you know, give the team the best chance to win. Um, and, and, again, not doing everything that we can at that point in time uh, to, to make sure, again, that, that we're being smart and, and putting ourselves in a good spot. Does it seem like there's, there's uh, any potential, of, of, I guess, of Traylon coming back and not doing much the last couple of weeks? Any possibility that he's still suffering? Any kind of after effects, you know, whether it's physical or, or, or mental from the concussion? No, I don't think so. But what do you, what do you think the reason is we haven't seen too much production? Um, yeah, I've, I mean, for whatever reason, the ball hasn't found him. You ran some good routes. Uh, there were some times there where, um, you know, he was, he was, you know, option option two and option one was open, you know. Um, so, um, in in some of it is is we got to make sure we're doing a good job of, of continuing to find different ways to to you know get in the ball and then others it's when, when it's there to be able to go make it um go ahead no you're good what do you see from tajay spears specifically in the pass catching game and just how he got involved in that and then those you know two drives being so involved the way he was yeah first of all it was in you know love tajay he it was when you look at the when you look at the box score, it's evident to see his impact in the game in terms of the amount of yards from scrimmage he had. Um, but but from our standpoint, you know the 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 impact he had in pass protection, both him and Chig were um, you know a big reason why we were able to, to uh, operate the way that we did, and and that just goes to kind of speak to the type of people those are and the type of teammate both those guys are. Is understand that they may not be getting you know into some of the routes that that other people may be getting into. Um, but understanding their role and, and, and you know, executing uh, 
uh, at a high level to make sure that, that we have an opportunity to win the game. And then he showed uh, not only his ability to be able to go and, and catch the ball when thrown to him, but showed some pretty cool instincts. Um, you know, he, he did a really good job for us, was able to go and win when isolated a couple times, made a great catch on that seam route. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he had a really good game, and, and, you know, hopefully we can build on that. I guess that clip of, of Will coming off the sideline screaming as he's coming towards you, uh, what are you thinking when you see him coming at you red-faced like that? And how, how do you kind of like his, emo <laughs> his emotions uh, out there? You love it. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's a hell of a competitor. Um, and and you know it was it was really cool for for me to be able to see him to see our offense go and and go down there and execute you know in a critical situation against a good opponent um, on the road and on on national television um, you know those guys came together and did a great job and and you know brought those plays to life so was was really proud of the way that he was able to go and operate and and able to go function uh, and lead that offense down. Um, you know, to put ourselves in a position to win the game. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, he's he's got those crazy eyes. Um, <laughs> you know, when when, when uh, he starts hulking out. But um, uh, I was proud of him, and it was it was it was a cool moment for him. That relationship that he and, and Hopkins have, mm -hmm. the way it's developed over time. From your perspective, like, how, how could you, you know, how, how would you categorize that relationship? Yeah, um, it's it's been cool to see. Uh, that developed throughout the however many weeks it's been now. So um, obviously, you know, there's there's some growing pains there, and and you got two guys that want to win more than anything else. So uh, and and they both you know figure it out and and do a good job of being able to go and and be on the same page with some different route adjustments. And um, you know, Will's got a good feel for for where Hop, where Hop is going to be and what he's going to do, and and does a great job of, of making decisions to not jam the ball into him. Also, I know he's got a a bunch of targets, but uh, very few of them have been ill-advised throws. So uh, he's he's doing a good job there, and, and Hop's doing a great job too of being able to talk to him on the sideline, uh, being able to communicate what he's seeing, um, and and just making sure that that, that communication is going on uh, throughout the entire game to to make sure they're on the same page. Brunswick said he feels a lot better after a low snap game there. Mm -hmm. you, you envision him being back to to full time or some kind of rotation? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we just got to get a feel for where we're at and and where the game's at, and you know, figure out what uh. What, what combination up front is going to work best for us? Can Will talk about this team? How much can you borrow, if at all, from your experience? I mean, it's totally, it's totally different. Uh, different scheme, different coaching staff for the most part, especially on defense. I think Dino's back, um, maybe a couple other guys. Uh, but, um, you know, not much just because the scheme's so different. You know, um, Grenard's playing really well. Malik's still playing at a high level. Um, so, you know, there's, there's some players there that, uh, you know, have some familiarity with, but other than that, not much. Willis said that. Yeah, I did. Okay. The Willis, said that, Willis said that he he's his own worst critic at times. Did you have to say anything to him after the pick six? Yeah, calm the hell ball? down. Like it, there's a there's a it wasn't you know what I mean. Like it's 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 a long game. There's there's a lot that goes into it. Um, and and the, the the one thing that you know we've we've talked to our unit about is is you're you're never out of the fight, right? Um, I, I think we've displayed that, and, and hopefully after after Monday night, uh, there's there's you know a wholehearted belief in that. But you're never out of it. It's just now we have to go make a play. You got to figure it out. Um, so you know, um, and it goes for all of us. Like I was I was not happy on the sideline at a certain point in time on on Monday night, and needed to to vent. And then two seconds later, you're back into it. So everybody has their own mechanism of being able to deal with it. The important thing is 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 when um, you know, the maturity and, and taking strides is, is when you don't let it affect you when you get out there for the next play or, or whatever, the, you know, the next series. And, and he's done a good job of that through, throughout the entire year. Houston's obviously made a huge jump. How much do you credit D'Amico Ryans and his knowledge and passion of kind of leading that team back? Yeah, I think it's evident when you turn on the tape. Um, you know, the way that he has that defense playing, they're flying around, they're playing really, really fast. They're playing really fast. They're, they're flying to the football. Uh, you, you can sense the uh, uh, energy uh, that, that they play with. Uh, just take a peek at their sidelines when you're watching the tape. Um, so, I mean, he's uh, uh, obviously was, was, had a lot of success out in San Francisco leading that defense, and, and that's carried over there to the entire team in Houston. So uh, we got to do a good job here on, on Sunday being able to go out there and match their speed and match their enthusiasm. Can you say a little bit about um, McCreary and, and Murphy punting from the Monday night game guys who both had to leave the game at some point and still able to come back? And yeah, I think it shows their toughness. Um, 
I mean, I was pleased with how both those guys played. Thought they showed up. Um, I mean, S and B to have the third down caught on him. It was close. He challenged, um, and then they get that DPI, and then he shows up and makes two plays in a row, really three plays in a row for us down the red zone to get up to force him to a field goal. Right. So the way he responded, um, and then Roger just keeps improving. He does. He does everything we ask of him. I think he's getting more comfortable in there every single week. Um, can cover can show up in the run game, flies around, had a really great effort play right before half where he's chasing and gets that PBU. Um, so pleased with where those guys were on Monday night and hopefully it continues how, Sunday. How much did the physical style of play that you guys put out there, being even being kind of shorthanded, how much did that uh, play into, I guess, controlling the game and being able to keep him in check? Yeah, I mean, I think in, every week as a defense, that's kind of what we're aiming to do, right? Um, to know our strengths, know where where we hopefully have an advantage in terms of that each week. Um, the one thing that showed up to me is, I mean, we were, we were playing pretty soft coverage-wise, um, a little bit lighter box, and they had some rushing yards, but there were 18 runs in there that were four yards or less, right? And they broke a few, I think, on us that we missed some tackles and they got up over 10, but there wasn't ever the big one that, that gashed us, right? So. I mean, I think the guys bought into that. I think the, the swarm and the effort was tremendous, and that allowed us to make up for some of those lighter boxes at times. What's, uh, what's it like, I guess, preparing this week for a team that got a couple of key players on the injury report and just don't know what their status is going to be? Yeah, I mean, you got to prepare for everybody. Um, don't know what's going to happen with the quarterback as the week goes. Obviously, the receiver, too, with the calf. So we'll kind of have to gauge that as we go. But we're preparing for all of them right now, um, making sure our guys understand who we're going up against. Um, it could change, obviously, come Sunday. But making sure we have knowledge of everybody that could be out there. Um, me, it's a little bit of a challenge. I just don't really know how much schematically they're going to change from Stroud to Davis Mills. I don't. Um, I think they're still going to be run the ball, have the play action, have the shots down the field. Some of that stuff's going to show up. But uh, we got to make sure we know their skill sets and their strengths and weaknesses. Do you think Harold's all the way back now? Uh, it was good to see him do that Monday night, right? So hopefully that continues. And it was good good to see him go out there and have that type of production for us Monday night. Outside of the numbers, are you, are you just seeing a better you know, a better Harold right now? Yeah, I think you saw some speed um, around the edge. I think that continues the uptake as we go here. And again, it's a process. Anytime you come back from an injury like that, it's going to take some time. And it's gradually, 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 hopefully it continues to strengthen and he, he continues to get where he needs to be to go out there and play and have that type of production. With all those edge guys, it seems like something's been clicking since Carolina when they all talked about going back to basics, simplifying. How valuable, how fruitful has that yeah, I mean, it's showing up. I mean, we've, we've actually been able to get some pressure on the road here these past couple games, right, which we weren't doing early. So um, hopefully they can continue to be coordinated. I think that's a big, big part of it. It's making sure they're all on the same page, seeing things the same way, because, again, it takes all four to rush the passer. It's never just one guy. Um, Got to be relentless with how you rush, and hopefully we can complement each other up there.